Hey all, Hippo here, and uh, welcome to season two, at least for those of us who've actually entered this season. If you haven't, don't sweat it, it will happen sooner or later. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and of course like and share and a comment if you have anything to say, right? So uh, season two, first of all, of course make sure you uh, continue the campaign or the odyssey or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, every day you have some goals to achieve either on your own or with your gang. And if you do that, you will get, uh, you know, rewards. So obviously keep doing that because uh, the campaign is actually quite important uh, because it will unlock stuff for you. And uh, for example, uh, season specializations is something new in this season here. It looks very interesting. I haven't made it very far yet, but uh, the way you unlock these specializations here, which is, you know, in the season two, is uh, really that you have to do squad raids and uh, I don't particularly enjoy squad raids but I guess you know if you like these then uh, obviously there's another incentive to do them in this season which is great uh, so yeah I gotta get cracking on my uh, squad raids I haven't really done any so far so uh, like I mentioned earlier, this season will of course bring new artifacts and uh, one of them is the wrist hook of omen uh, that as usual, you'll have to uh, satisfy six criteria to actually be, a ba be able to get and use in-game. And as you can tell, I've only, uh, you know, uh, hit three of them, so I still have some work to do. Um, artifacts are, of course, really interesting in the game because they give you, uh, like, almost superpowers. So uh, it's really worth uh, playing through the campaign. Actually, it's more than worth. You have to do it, in my opinion. And uh, if it's, that's not enough, there's also a different artifact here that's called Frigga's Veil. And uh, there could be more in the season, but uh, so far that's what I've run into. And again, six criteria you have to fulfill. This one's more difficult. So uh, you just got to get cracking there and uh, keep going uh, down the campaign path. So uh, speaking of requirements, you have to keep an eye on your adventure level uh, heading into season two, because uh, for me personally, I am on the leveled. I'm supposed to be server level 63 and I'm only 56 at the moment. And I have even been grinding this a lot. I was actually 40 something earlier. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you enter season uh, two, you really should be uh, level 60. Uh, of course, if you're not, you can purchase, you know, adventure experience if you want to, you know, grind quickly or, you know, cheat a little bit here <laughs> but uh, of course there's ways in game to uh, actually uh, earn the experience as well and as you can tell i'm actually getting a hundred percent bonus on my experience bonus when i killing when i kill enemies because my adventure level is so low so uh, again keep that in mind of course this helps me actually you know grind quicker and get to that uh, required server level the easiest way to uh, increase your adventure level is just to sink armed freighters, really. And uh, of course, that depends on your stamina, as you can only sink a certain amount every day. But with 100% bonus, you do rise in adventure levels fairly quickly, if you are as low as I am. And uh, failing that, you can also just, you know, explore, do missed incidents, like discover new ports, and uh, you will be rewarded with uh, adventure experience as well. Not as much as uh, you know, sinking freighters, but still enough to uh, to make a dent. Next thing to keep in mind is that you're going to get uh, a new sea voyage. So uh, this one called Around the World in 80 Plunders and uh, with lots of goodies that you simply get by uh, just earning points, right? And earning points is really easy. You just do missed incidents and uh, stuff like that. And in this uh, season here, you can get a free ship like I did, I also told you in an earlier video if you reach 1270 points, which is fairly easy. It should take a few days, so uh, make sure you do that. So make sure that you, uh, you know, earn points by finding ports, finding treasure, finding new recipes, uh, recruiting new heroes, uh, completing missed incidents and uh, landward quests, right? So there's plenty of stuff to do, so uh, make sure you at least get to 1270, right? But, you know, you should really finish the whole sea voyage because there's just so many goodies uh, in there and they're free. They just require you to put some time into the game. So uh, that brings me to another thing you have to keep in mind and that is there's a fair bunch of new recipes, uh, season two recipes uh, in the game that you can, you know, if you have some quiet time, just sit down and, you know, experiment your way. and. Uh, Every time you get a recipe, you actually get points for your sea voyage and uh, other stuff. So it's not just a waste of time, right? And of course, you can use the food that you cook 
to actually increase your resources once you are out, you know, plundering or whatever it is that you're doing. And uh, there's new ingredients in season two as well, uh, like pine nuts and stuff like that. So there's a, there's a fair uh, amount of stuff to dig into here in the recipe uh, area. And uh, just Google the recipes online. That's easier if you don't want to, you know, sit there and just experiment for hours, uh, which I did. <laughs> so, uh, but season two is pretty old now. So there's uh, there's a fair few uh, sites that has information. And uh, next up, of course, there is new uh, heroes in season two. And uh, what you gotta just keep in mind is that you kind of have to plan your yeah, we know your hero pulling here because uh, there's limited resources, especially if you're a free to play player. Uh, so you got to look at the calendar within the hero section and you can kind of tell which week uh, the heroes that you want or the hero that you want is available. For example, I am uh, chasing a particular hero here uh, that I don't have yet. And I can see that he's going to be available in this week here. And uh, it's, of course, Bones, a legendary guy. So uh, I'm going to save my conks for that week. So I have 80 or more conks. And uh, then I am guaranteed to get Bones during that week. And uh, that's the guy I want. The others are, you know, either I have them or I don't really need them at the moment. So uh, another addition to the game is actually a quite a huge addition, really, uh, is uh, trinkets. And really what these are, um, are items that you can equip on your heroes, right? So uh, in season one, we were used to having ships and you could equip items on your ships to uh, increase their abilities in uh, whatever you were uh, you're like aiming for. But uh, in season two, it's now rolled out um, trinkets, which are in, you know, basic terms items that you put on your heroes or you equip on your heroes and uh, there's a lot of different trinkets and uh, as you can tell there's legendary ones as well and some of them are actually insanely good uh, like for example the sword i was lucky enough to get earlier there uh, of course there is also rare and epic versions of pretty much everything and uh, keep in mind that you can actually disassemble the trinkets and uh, use the resources you get from disassembling these things here to uh, upgrade the trinkets that you really want to keep. And uh, if you want to go into details on that, I have a whole video on trinkets and uh, how to pull them, how to upgrade them and uh, which heroes uh, they fit well with. Because uh, of course, Cordelia, for example, should have the, the Elixir um, trinket and stuff like that. So uh, it's fairly deep addition to the game and uh, a welcome addition, I think. I think it's uh, probably one of the most important additions in season two that's really going to extend this game uh, to last even longer. And I mean, this game is already pretty massive. So uh, it's an it's an excellent addition, really. Uh, one of, well, the best addition in season two, if you ask me. So uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to just give you a heads up uh, before you head into season two. These are the things that I think you should focus on, at least for the first few days. Uh, until you you know get your bearings and then let me just uh, re you know rephrase again that uh, keep an eye on your adventure level before you uh, jump into season two because the sea monsters in there for example are pretty powerful so if you're not level 60 you're gonna have a hard time so you can only do trading and stuff like that so uh, anyway that was uh, you know starting guide for season two let me know if you have any questions in the comments and uh, otherwise enjoy the game and i will see you out there and of course don't forget to subscribe